Well, Gene, the change will affect 15,000 students in 22 schools and will go into place on November the 30th. The school day will be getting just a little bit longer as Manchester converts from a day's base to an hour's base system at the end of next month. It's part of the most recent teacher's contract, and the school district superintendent says there are advantages. There are lots of benefits to that, including that if we have three snow days, we won't need to make them up at the end of the school year. It allows us to get out, out of school earlier. The state requires 180 school days per year. Under the hours system, slightly longer days will ultimately add up, meaning the year will end about a week ahead of schedule. And while that all sounds good, there are some questions. Jim O'Connell is part of an advocacy group for parents and students. I think the biggest issue today really is that we have it. We've started into a year, we're into month two. Parents have created schedules around this stuff and pick up and granny's picking up and jobs and work. O'Connell sees the benefits of the time change, but knows some parents may feel the squeeze of a later drop off and release. I think that it would probably interrupt the morning um, routine, um, getting to work on time. It would probably make it a little bit difficult. I kind of like it the way it is. I think it works. I think it's a great change because we need to factor in the snow days because it's kind of a pain to go to July. It's hot in the schools. They don't have AC. The kids get uncomfortable at the end of the year, and I think it's a good thing. My kids are all for it. School district officials say if there are any questions, the best thing to do is to contact your principal. Reporting live, I'm Andy Hirschberger, WMUR News 9.